Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're doing some exterior waterproofing, exterior waterproofing on a crawl space. And kind of want you to see what we come across sometimes. This thing right here is called strip drain. Some people call it dimple board, strip drain. And it's a one inch piece. Water is supposed to permeate you know, through this fabric down into the system. There's plastic on the other side. And of course they just lay this up against the wall. And for this reason, they have a problem because this is here. This is a great example of the of fabric, you know, whether it be wrapping gravel or wrapping dimple board. Again, this is called strip drain. And if you look carefully down here, you'll see there's water. It's trapped inside of here. And not only that, you can see how much clay has pushed against it. Water cannot possibly get through there fast enough for anything to work. You can see the mud. This is just sticky, sticky, wet mud. What we're going to do is remove this, clean it all out. Right here is the footer. So you can see the footer right here. Dig a trench right alongside the footer. And then we're gonna lay gravel perforated pipe. Gravel is gonna cover right across the footer. We're gonna clean this wall off, scrape it off, wash it. And then we're gonna put our liquid rubber up against the wall. <clears throat> Gravel brings comes up right across the top of the footer, covers that pipe, and the discharge is going to be out and around behind that garage. This is discharged to daylight. So these guys have excavated down to the footer, and you can see down here where I just exposed a little bit of that solid concrete from the footer. Basically, we're gonna clean off this wall, clean off the footer, all the way from where we started here in the corner, all the way around where it will discharge. Here's the problem side wall. You can see the hill here. Water's been coming down this hill and been flooding right through that crawl space. And remember that they had the little strip drain attached around the side of this to try to help collect that water. Again, those little strip drains, fabric, it, it does not work. You really need to get down to the footer, gravel perforated pipe, let that water collect in the bottom of your trench, flood up into your system, and then be carried away, whether it goes to a sump pump or here, as you can see, we're going to daylight. It goes a long ways around behind this garage. Good fall as it comes around that area. So she decided to go ahead and parge the garage as well. And the reason being is that there was actually so much water coming up right here, going under the garage, that we decided to do that as well. Let your eyes adjust here and you can see our trench that comes from the main addition all the way over there. That's picking up the footer tile that we're putting around the perimeter, also the downspouts. And we're gonna do all three sides here of the garage in the back and attach that to our system as well. Tough little dig with the big oak tree right here. But Terry's making quick work of that. Hopefully he's deep enough. It looks like he is, looks like he's plenty deep enough, yeah. You can see our footer level here. And then of course the trench that we need gravity. This is discharged to daylight, so this is looking real good. So again, after you got your trench dug, use your garden hose. We've already hit this with a flat shovel. There was a, some type of damp proofing already on here, but we're washing that off. And then once this all dries, we'll go ahead and you know, seal that wall again. We'll also wash off the footer one more time before we put our gravel and perforated pipe in there. So we're washing off the wall, getting ready to you know, clean that area so we can put our liquid rubber on there. You can see we've got great fall coming down our trench. It's starting to go away, real nice. Gravity discharge. So as water you know, fills up in our perforated pipe, it's gonna come down the trench and be carried away. It actually goes all the way around the back of that garage about another 60 feet before it comes to daylight. So now we're putting a T on the line so that we can connect this footer tile to a solid pipe. Remember, footer pipe is gravel perforated pipe. So we're gonna bring that over. Once we've collected the water, we wanna keep that water. So we just snap a T on here, snap that T together, 
And then when we put our gravel perforator pipe, we'll connect to this main line. Secret to putting corrugated together is just try to keep it level. Once it's level, you'll hear it snap together and you're all done. So we're applying our liquid rubber and put it on real nice and thick. It's almost like a paint, but when it dries, it creates a rubber shell. And this has got a little bit of fiberglass in it, but mostly this is a premium rubber coating. It's a tar base, but again, when it dries, it becomes a rubber shell. So from this downspout, this won't tie into the, the gravel perforated pipe. Instead, it's going to run on top and it'll connect right over here. So we left a little insert sticking up here that we'll attach that solid pipe to. You can see the connection here where we brought our footer tile into the main trench. We have solid pipe coming over here to the downspout, running the gravel around to the back. Covers up real nice. So we've got our system installed. You can see we've got a, the fabric, the soil separator right here, which is going to cover just the top of the gravel. That keeps the soil from dropping directly down into your system. But we've tarred that wall with our liquid rubber. Nice rubber seal on there right now. Lots of gravel over top and underneath of our pipe as well. Runs all the way out to the discharge over here where it changes to solid pipe and then on out and around the garage. So that was a real quick yard of soil. Chuck and Terry, good job of pulling the gravel around. We're almost here to the end. So this is the discharge point of this whole system. It runs back behind the garage. So basically we got it all backfilled. Now we're just going to do some grading, take some soil away. We don't want that soil up on the siding, so we've got to take quite a bit of it away here. But basically our system is covered, and it should last for many years to come. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.